you won't believe this chair was free. If you want to know how, stick around so I can share some secrets with you. Exploring Facebook Marketplace and the kind-hearted communities in Facebook groups is akin to wandering a virtual garage sale without the early morning wake-up call. In this digital age, the finest gems are not hidden. They are displayed online for the keen eye to find. And occasionally, they come with unbeatable price of zilch. Just like this bench, that's about to metamorphs into a country chic sensation. But before we get to the bench beautification process, let's have a little free tale 101, shall we? Tip one, to scour online like a pro, focus on people's downtime, evenings or weekends. That's when they post their giveaways. But many of us who works from home, the daytime is a ripe time for freebie hunting. Polite words can be magical charms. Tip number two, saying I'm interested is passe. I can pick up ASAP is your golden ticket. You have to be clear with your intention. Tip number three, when you're commenting on the post, share why you want it, but keep it real. No need for sob stories, unless it's called for. Tip number four, only grab what you'll use. Trust me, I've learned from experience and so has my husband, especially after those treadmill incidents. If you're worried about pests like bed bugs, you can inspect them first. I've looked out before, but now I'm a bit wiser. But if it's questionable, off to the donation centers they go, they clean them there, and someone else benefits. And I get to be the middleman in the circle of goodwill. Tip number six, if you had a change of heart, which happens to the best of us, just be sure to give kind soul offering the item a quick heads up instead of going MIA. This way, they can swiftly move on to the next eager free tailor in line. Quick safety pit stop. Here's a rundown on safe pickups. Firstly, always pick up during daylight hours. It's safer and you get to see the items clearly and there's no nasty surprises. Second, mention that we coming, it's always good to have safety and numbers in mind. If you can have someone go with you, then it's much better. Number three, do a little detective work on the neighborhood through the address given. Hello, Google Map. It often gives a clue on the item's would-be or actual condition. Also, if the photo of the item is outdoors, it might have braved you storms. So proceed with caution. Number four, if you have allergies, quick message to inquire if the item has been in a pet-friendly home will save you a lot of sneezes down the line. Be aware that not all that glitters is gold. Sometimes ads that scream free and hidden charges lurking in the fine print. Kind of a bait and switch scenario. And watch out for scams. If anyone asks for delivery money or any other suspicious face, it's time to say goodbye and move on. Last but not the least, trust your instinct. If something feels off, it's better to pass. Remember, safety and smartness first, always. On the sustainability front, we're not just grabbing freebies. We're doing our bit for the planet. By giving these items a second home, we reduce waste, lessen our carbon footprint, and get to flex our creative muscles. And it's all about being green and savvy, my friends. Sustainability isn't just trendy, it's smart. Feeling inspired? Try your hand at upcycling and share your masterpieces with hashtag freetailfinds. Let's foster a community of savvy upcyclers. And we and used to live back in BC, and when Craigslist was king, our place was decked out in these delightful discoveries without the price tags and yes, even a swanky 50-inch TV from a very upscale neighborhood. Hey, quick pause. If you're loving this free tail therapy session, give that subscribe button a tap. Let's create a free tail fiesta together. And now back to our bench. Let's take this bench from drab to fab, and you're about to witness a free tail masterpiece. Stay tuned for my top thrift finds of 2023. That's on my next video. As always, stay savvy, folks.